couple who were bitten alive by bed bugs on a Dream 2400 pounds five-star holiday in Cape Verde are offered a single bottle of Prosco as an apology. A couple claim they were bitten alive by bed bugs following a Dream five-star holiday in Cape Verde. John Bo, 54, and his partner Sharon Murray, paid £2,400 for their 10-night holiday on the African island in October. The couple stayed at the Hotel Ryu Tuareg, on the African island for 10 nights from October 9. But seven nights into their stay at the Five Star Hotel, Ms. Murray and Mr. Bo noticed that they both had bites appearing on their skin. They presumed that they were from sitting outside and enjoying the hotel's nighttime entertainment, not from bedbugs in their room. The couple, who were there to celebrate Sharon's 50th birthday, claim when they approached management about the suspected bedbugs, they were only offered a free bottle of Prosco. Both Mr. Bauer and Ms. Murray, from Kendall, Cumbria, were covered in bites. She was horrified to discover that a month after returning to the UK that she still had bites all over her body and some had scarred. Mr. Bo, a factory worker, said, Sharon was unable to sleep with the discomfort. In the morning she was covered in bites and felt miserable with the itching and lack of sleep. Sharon had to spend all day in the shade or in the pool to try and keep the itching at a minimum. I was experiencing the same thing with the bites but not as extreme as Sharon. On the tenth and final night of the holiday we hardly slept as we were constantly itching and the bites were surfacing on our skin. By the time we were going home we were completely covered in bites. It ruined what was meant to be a special holiday for Sharon's birthday. The couple awoke shattered and went to reception before 6 a.m. to speak with the manager. Staff stripped their bed down to discover the bed bugs feces, which looked like small black dots. Mr. Bo added, the manager asked us if we had let a cat in our room as they thought we had been bitten by bugs brought in by a cat, but we had definitely not let any cats in our room. He then said it was a pity we were going today because he would have got us a complimentary bottle of Prosco to apologize. After speaking to the manager Ms. Murray and Mr. Bauer were sent to a doctor, who confirmed that they had been bitten by bed bugs and gave them some cream to use. However, the couple feel that their holiday has been tarnished by the bed bugs and claim that the room next door to them also looked like it was in the process of being fumigated. Mr. Bo said, it's a shame because it was a nice holiday until the bites started to appear. They were really painful and itchy they just made everything uncomfortable. We are so annoyed and upset we hadn't reported things earlier but we never thought it could have been bed bugs because in all my 50 years we have never had to deal with them and knew what to look for. Nobody advised us either that bed bugs are easily transported on luggage and belongings from an infested area and we only discovered this by reading it on the internet. When we did arrive home we had to strip off and leave our luggage outside till the morning where we had to deal with it. The clothes had to be washed at 60 degrees to kill the bugs and that temperature has ruined quite a lot of our clothes. All other belongings had to be steamed before being brought back into the house. We have visited our GP twice since returning home as a month later Sharon is still covered in bites. A spokesperson for TUI UK said, We are really sorry to hear about Mr. Bo and Ms. Murray's experience. Our customer service teams are in direct contact with Ms. Murray to investigate the matter and reach a satisfactory resolution. We'd like to reassure customers that we regularly audit all accommodations we feature in respect of health and safety, including hygiene.